At some point in your life, you may have heard that women are more emotional than men, that thinking like a girl can be viewed as an insult. But the truth is, there's a lot more to brain chemistry, and our next guest is here to tell you how thinking like a girl can be a powerful thing. That being said, please welcome psychologist and author of Think Like a Girl, Dr. Tracy Alloway. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. Well, this is a great topic. Why did you decide to write a book dedicated to thinking like a girl? Um, in part because as a girl growing up, you hear all these statements, you know, women are more emotional when they make decisions. Women don't take risks and women this and that. And I really wanted to, as a psychologist and a scientist, really look under the hood what's going on in the brain. How many of these myths are accurate? How many of them are not? And ultimately, what can we do to make our brain work more efficiently for us? Dr. Alloway, we know that a male biologic brain is 10% bigger than a female brain. How else is a woman's brain different than a man's? Yes, yeah, so generally when men are using their brain, it's more localized and the women's brain is more diffuse. So if we're having a conversation in the man's brain, you tend to see more activation in the language areas of the brain. In contrast, when a woman is having a conversation, you see a more diffuse activation in multiple areas of the brain, including the language center, the visual areas, even their long-term memory centers. All right, Dr. Holloway, what is, what is one of the biggest myths you've busted about women's brains? This is one of my favorites. It's one that we had a chance to look at in my own research lab, and it's that women are more emotional when we make difficult decisions. We have a hot pathway, which is located in the amygdala, the emotional brain, and we have a cold pathway that's in the prefrontal cortex or the rational brain. The exciting thing is you can actually flip the switch if you stick your hand in a bucket of ice water, you can move from making an emotional decision to a more rational decision. Interesting. Literally a bucket of ice water? Yes, so the reason that this works is because with, when your hand is in that bucket of ice, it activates your fight or flight response, it brings your amygdala into focus, and it's the emotional part of the brain is so busy dealing with this uh, stress response that it frees up the rational part of the brain to make a more rational or cold decision. So I could literally shock my brain into taking okay. this cold, more logical pathway. This is known as a physical stressor. And I found that you can also induce that same shift in your decision making using a cognitive stressor. Even counting backwards by sixes from 100 introduces that same stress response. And so it frees up your rational brain to make a decision. Interesting. Yeah, so you would do that, I would imagine, quietly to yourself instead of out loud, which would be really disconcerting. <laughs> or carry around your ice bucket, right? <laughs> exactly. So, Dr. Alloway, what are other ways that women can use their brains to their advantage? Another way that's often talked about is when it comes to uh, female mental health. And we know that women, for example, are twice as likely to get diagnosed with things like depression, anxiety, and so on. But just simply changing one word can shift the focus in our brain. Instead of saying, yes, but, if you change that word to yes and, it shifts the mindset, especially for a woman that gets caught up in a ruminative cycle in the brain, to one of gratitude and reframing into a more positive outlook. I have seen that myself. That's really useful. Awesome. Thank you. Dr. Alloway, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing great information, how to think like a girl. I learned something today.